Hello everybody, today I'm going to be talking about the film Blue, which was directed by Derek Jarman in 1993. Uh, this is a very avant-garde art house film, um, and it's interesting to know the background of the film a little bit. I think it makes it more uh, powerful for the audience member. But Derek Jarman, at the time of making this movie, was uh, dying of AIDS. And he started to lose his ability to see while the film was in production. And Obviously, film is a visual medium, so that makes it very difficult. So what he did was make a movie that is very different from uh, most of the movies that I'm used to reviewing or most of the movies I'm sure that you have seen. This movie is about uh, his encounter, or I should say his uh, confrontation of death, which was, you know, coming up for him. He died very soon after. Um, and it's a meditative piece that has all of these kind of poetic interludes and anecdotes about his life that are just kind of weaved throughout the film. And when you add the music and the sound effects and everything, it becomes a very meditative, introspective piece. And to me, as I was watching it, I felt that this is probably one of the most personal, uh, intimate films that I think I've ever seen a director make about his own uh, experiences. The title of the film is a very accurate one uh, because for the entire movie, you are literally sitting there looking at a blue screen. I'm not kidding. And you're probably thinking, why would I want to sit through that? And I'll tell you why. I think that this movie, or just looking at a blue screen, uh, you can interpret that color and the things that you are hearing in so many different ways. And uh, that's what the idea of just having one color stands for. To me, it stands for ambiguity. It's like a blank slate that we can project our own ideas onto. I have to say, as I was watching this movie, the while I was listening to the dialogue and, and listening to the words that uh, were being spoken, I it's like I could see them in my mind. And even though there's nothing going on on screen, the images that I have in my head are so powerful, and more powerful, I think, than a lot of the movies that I have seen that are very uh, visual. It's the idea that image is just one facet of the way that we take things in. It's one facet of the way that we understand the world. And when we are deprived of that sense, all of our other senses sort of become heightened and um, we become more perceptive in that way. So all of the things that you're hearing suddenly kind of take on a new meaning and it's like you can take them in in an unbiased way. The dialogue in the movie uh, and, and just, I wanna call them like stanzas like a, you, that you see in a poem or something like that because they, they are so rhythmic and they have a musical quality to them. But they're just so philosophical, so beyond you know, anything that you're used to seeing in, in most films, so full of uh, meaning. Each line that I was listening, I actually just want to go back and read all of it because each line could be interpreted in so many different ways because you're seeing kind of just his life in all these different ways. There's no kind of arc in the traditional sense or narrative sense, but you're seeing just the way he's taken in life. All of it is so complex. It reveals all of the different layers of life in such a way that as I was listening to it and, and well, watching it really, I'm looking at the screen and listening to everything, I was almost in tears, honestly, because of just the way everything had a very transcendent quality. Honestly, my interpretation of the film, or just the way that I personally saw it from my own perspective, it's like being inside the void. Uh, being in this area, like like you're cracking open nothingness and you're going right inside it. And it's like being between life and death. Um, it's almost like you're just, just almost on the other side, breaking on through to the other side. It's a moment of reflection and introspection as he leaves this world. And it is unlike anything I've ever experienced. I don't want to say it's unlike anything I've ever seen before because that makes it sound like it's a typical movie. It is an experience, something that has to wash over you. It challenges what the film medium does. It challenges the idea that it's just a visual medium and it just kind of turns that idea upside down and it allows us to experience this art, which means a lot to me, in a completely new way. And I have to say it's one of those movies I, I don't think I'll ever forget. I'd watch it again in an instant. And I think that if you 
are really into art in this way, if you're really kind of a cinephile and you love art house films and things like that, this is definitely worth, che worth checking out. Um, I know you can find it on YouTube or, or whatever, just see it because it's one of those things that is in a way, I mean, it allows you to look at your life differently uh, than you might have before um, or look at film differently. And whenever you, I have those experiences, I take advantage of them. So anyway, that is my review. Thank you all for watching. If you would like to follow me on Twitter, you can. Uh, the link is below right there. Let me know if you've seen it, uh, what you think about the movie. If you have not seen it, see it. If you have not seen it, sorry, go watch it and let me know. Anyway, I'll see you all next time.